An all-electric 26-ton excavator from Caterpillar with a massive 300 kilowatt hour battery pack has been unveiled. Who says electric drivetrains are only used in cars? A Caterpillar excavator was converted to battery power by PON Equipment, based in the Netherlands. The company believes that this one-off operation will act as a model for future construction machinery with zero emissions. Welcome to Electrify. With assistance from significant mining clients taking part in Caterpillar's Early Learner program, the company completed the development of the first battery-powered 793 prototype, BHP, Freeport McMoran, Newmount Corporation, Rio Tinto, and Tech Resources Limited are program participants with finalized electrification agreements. The Early Learner Initiative, which was introduced in 2021, aims to hasten the testing and development of Caterpillar's battery-powered trucks at the locations of participating customers. This method supports the unique commitments each Early Learner participant has made to decrease and eliminate greenhouse gas emissions from their activities. The program's main goal is for Caterpillar to work more closely with its clients as the industry goes through a transformative energy transition. Internal combustion engines have historically provided the majority of the power for large mobile machinery in the construction vehicle sector. Heavy construction equipment driven by electricity is now a reality because of advancements in electric powertrain technologies, including motor and batteries. The 25-ton CAT 323F Z-Line, the first large-scale excavator in the world, runs entirely on battery power and not a diesel engine. The only difference between the excavator and the diesel-powered CAT 323F excavator is that the electric powertrain has been taken place of the diesel engine. PON Equipment, the authorized Caterpillar dealer in Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and the Netherlands, completed the modification. The company was inspired by Norway's commitment to becoming carbon neutral by 2030 and a drive for zero emission construction sites in the nation's capital, Oslo. The Z-Line Zero Emission Electric Excavator is based on a Caterpillar 323F. The diesel engine was swapped out for a large 300 kilowatt hour battery pack by PON. In contrast to the original engine's 1 ton weight, the pack weighs around 3.4 tons, where the entire machine weighs about 26 tons. According to PON, the battery pack at least has adequate power for 5 to 7 hours of operation before needing a full charge. Over the course of about 11 months, PON constructed the electric excavator in Norway with assistance from Caterpillar. The excavator was given to the Weidecker Construction Company in Norway, which intends to purchase eight of the pieces of equipment. PON wants to create a conversion kit that will enable it to restore additional Caterpillar diesel engines. With Norway's affinity for electric vehicles, it makes sense to introduce an electric excavator there. The Nissan LEAF was the most popular car in Norway in 2018, and battery-powered vehicles made almost one-third of the new car sales there. Norway actively supports electric vehicles by offering rewards and benefits like free parking. Furthermore, lawmakers plan to fully stop selling new internal combustion vehicles by 2025. If Norway expends its electrification initiatives, emission will be reduced even further. According to PON, the emissions from construction equipment currently make up 30% of those in Oslo, the country's capital. Nonetheless, nothing has been accomplished in the domain of construction equipment while electrification is spreading into new sectors like commercial trucks and buses. The E-Dumper, an enormous electric dump truck from Komatsu, was launched in 2017 and was equipped with a giant 600 kilowatt hour battery pack. Fisker, a company that creates solid-state batteries that will exceed the lithium-ion batteries currently used in all-electric vehicles, has received funding from Caterpillar as well. Nonetheless, it can take some time before electric construction equipment becomes widely used. In a drive to electrify construction equipment, Caterpillar and PON equipment have introduced an all-electric 26-ton excavator with a massive 300-kilowatt-hour battery pack. At Gjellesen in Norway, they constructed a prototype for Vedek, a construction business that intends to use eight of them. The company anticipates that the device will improve the working environment for its staff members by lowering their air and noise pollution at construction sites. The business claims that this 26-ton excavator is the first of its size to be battery electrical powered. It has a massive 300 kilowatt hour battery pack that was built to resist a lot of violent movements. At 3.4 tons, the outcome is a fairly substantial pack. They predict that the battery's capacity will allow for use for 5 to 7 hours before requiring overnight charging. 
The 122 kilowatt electric motor, which is part of the excavator's powertrain, is also virtually silent. However, the hydraulic pumps can be heard. The single machine will cut their CO2 emissions by 52 metric tons, according to Ivan Larson, Verdike's director of construction. According to the CEO, replacing all 2,500 excavators of a similar size currently owned by construction businesses would remove the equivalent number of 60,000 vehicles from the road. That is the most recent illustration of how electrification is influencing other sectors of the economy. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to Electrify and also enable the bell icon. Let's dive into powertrain specs. The noisy, polluting diesel engine in the 323F is replaced with a battery pack and an electric motor to power the excavator's hydraulic system. The powertrain system for the electric excavator is made by Danfoss Editron, a division of Danfoss Power Solutions. In comparison to the diesel version, the 323F Z-Line excavator's electric motor allows it to run without producing any emissions while maintaining power and performance. As there's no combustion engine, the electric excavator uses no diesel fuel, emits no direct CO2, and makes a lot less noise than a diesel excavator. The 300 kWh battery pack that powers the 122 kW electric motor is a crucial component of the powertrain. The battery can operate the excavator for 5 to 7 hours when fully charged. If connected to an external power source, the device can run continuously. The battery pack, which weighs 3.4 tons, offers a threefold capacity increase over the largest battery currently used in Tesla vehicles. The ballast block that balances the weight of the digger arm had to be redesigned due to the substantial weight of the batteries. It was downsized from the enormous 6 ton version in the diesel excavator to a smaller steel block. The batteries can endure the severe vibrations and shocks of the construction environment since their ruggedized, heavy duty storage cells are proved for use in nautical applications. The batteries are made to last a long time. After 10,000 hours of use, they're still expected to hold 80% of their charging capacity. One hour of operation requires one hour of charging over a 400 volt mains connection. Using a 1000 volt supply, the fast charging option fills the battery completely in two hours. This is how the 323F Z-Line electric excavator is powered by electricity. A DC slash AC converter receives DC power from the battery pack via a DC distributor. To power an electric motor, the inverter changes the DC voltage into AC voltage. The excavator's arm, attachments, and tracks are operated by a hydraulic pump that is driven by an electric motor. A second DC distributor receives DC power from the battery pack through the main DC distributor as well. In order to control the temperature of the battery pack, this second DC distributor sends DC power to an electric heater that warms a coolant fluid that flows around the battery pack. In order to charge a 24 volt battery that supplies onboard power, the second DC distributor also transmits DC power to a DC slash DC converter, which changes the voltage to 24V DC. In addition, the 323F Z-Line electric excavator uses the grid in the ways described below to recharge its battery pack. The excavator's front house has a charging port on the side opposite the operator's cabin. A power cable is used to connect the excavator to the grid by connecting it to a sizable power jack on the front of the machine. Filtered 400 VAC grid electricity is sent to an AC slash DC converter which changes it to DC voltage. The primary DC distributor supplies the batteries with DC power so they can be charged. The second DC distributor, which powers the electric heater to control battery temperature, receives electricity from the primary DC distributor as well. The 24 volt battery is charged by the DC slash DC converter, which is also powered by the second DC distributor. The CAT 323F Z-Line is the first large scale electric excavator in the world, and its price reflects both its cutting edge electric powertrain and substantial size. The excavator costs around three times as much as the diesel powered CAT 323F, or $680,800, which roughly translates to 620,000 euros. Although the fuel has a high asking price, it has many advantages over the other types of excavators, including not using diesel fuel, emitting no direct carbon dioxide, being more quiet, and requiring less maintenance. If electric excavators are successfully commercially, technological advancements and economies of scale might reduce production costs, increasing their accessibility. 
environmentally friendly construction equipment is being adopted in the interim thanks to rules like those in Norway. Eight of the electric excavators have been purchased by the Norwegian construction business, Videk. 52 tons of CO2 are predicted to be avoided by each of the 323F Z-Line excavator, according to the business. It would take 60,000 cars off of the road to offset the carbon emissions producing by all of the 2,500 excavators in Norway. What are your views on the electric excavator? Let us know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to Electrify for more electric updates and also check out some other videos on this channel.